globalization here at Cafe Bureau. But actually, to some degree, as a, as a, as a, a model, fair trade tries to do both ends of the spectrum. And the question we should consider as a group is, is that possible? What, what are the issues of trying to be both a kind of social change, social movement organization and a commercial company that's making a profit? Can that be done? And that's the real question that the fair trade model throws up. Okay, so we know, you know all this. This is government's form, former government's definition of social enterprises. We don't do that. We know that the purpose of social enterprises is, is social, but they're there to make money. To make money, social enterprises are business, typically. Um, you can see this um, and on the other hand, social movements are about change. They bring together people, sometimes individuals, to look at um, political, social structures, the way the rich and the poor are connected and do something about it. They want to change the system that we have at the moment because it's, for, some, for some people within these movements it's, it's misfunctioning, it's delivering the wrong outcomes, it's making people poor, it's ruining the environment, it's you know, filling our rivers full of pollution. And uh, social movements are about addressing these issues. There was a wonderful story I heard yesterday about you know, environmental control regulation in the United States and how eventually, after lots of kind of protests in the 60s and 70s, the uh, US government began to do something about controlling um, the, the rubbish that paper companies chuck into rivers or used to chuck into rivers. But apparently, you know, the, the real motivation behind this was that rivers in industrial towns like Cleveland in Ohio in the US, the rivers were catching fire. They were full of so much um, voluble effluent and kind of toxic chemicals from, you know, people see their rivers on fire. Now when that kind of happens, people start getting a bit anxious. They say, maybe something's wrong here. So change comes about in different ways. So some people call them, though, social movements are kind of grievance machine for creating and aggregating demands for change. So social movements are a way that people get together to change stuff. And that's what we're seeing in Egypt right now, okay? These are protests that bring about change. Because people feel the system they've been living under is wrong in some way. I'm not worried about that. So let's move on to fair trade. Um, this might work. Should we see?